Please stand. Let us sing our opening song, Come to the Water, found in the bulletin. Oh, let all who thirst, let them come to the water. And let all who have nothing, let them come to the Lord. Without money, without price, why should you pay the price except for the Lord? And let all who seek, let them come to the water. And let all who have nothing, let them come to the Lord. Without money, without strife, why should you spend your life except for the Lord? We gather ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with your spirit. As we begin this celebration, let us be mindful of God's love and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, bread of life, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, sower of the seed, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, fruitful word of God, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in your inscrutable providence will that the church be united to the sufferings of your Son, Grant, we pray, to your faithful who suffer for your name's sake, a spirit of patience and charity, that they may be found true and faithful witnesses to the promises you have made. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us listen to, to the scripture. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you will bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. 
In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My mouth will declare your praise. My, My mouth, mouth will declare, will declare your, praise. your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. My, my mouth, mouth will declare, declare your, your praise. praise. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth I'll will declare, declare your, your praise. praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew in me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My, My mouth will, will declare, declare your, your praise. praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My, my mouth, mouth will declare, declare your, your praise. praise. Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you all to the truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death and father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How well this message is received by the little sisters of the poor as they were exonerated before the Supreme Court of the United States after seven, eight years they've been accused for refusing to or offer reproductive services, which means abortions and prima facie, other things, to the people who worked for them. The little sisters of the poor standing before the Supreme Court. Go and proclaim my word and you'll be persecuted to all the towns in Israel. You'll not run out of towns before I come. You will not run out of towns. And we still have not run out of towns. I am sending you, <laughs> imagine being one of the apostles, I am sending you like sheep among wolves. Aha! Great job. Anybody want to apply? So be as shrewd 
as serpents and simple as doves. Because when time comes for you to speak, do not worry. The Holy Spirit will be with you. I had a friend in college when I was at the University of Virginia, my first semester of college in 1971, long ago. I'd just gotten out of the Air Force with an early out and went to college at summer school. And I could get into summer school at Virginia, but I couldn't have gotten in during the regular year because you actually had to be a student to go to Virginia. And I was must, not much of a student, but I went there to summer school. And one of the young fellows who lived in our suite with us, I, he, I was studying hard, getting ready for my exam. And I said, well, why aren't you studying? He said, well, I, God's with me. Everything will be fine. And he was there a few weeks before he failed out. God, in other words, the Holy Spirit's with you, but you, you still have to study and prepare for the moment in which you're in. The way we study, and one of the strongest forms of study, is to go into Christ, to go into the silence of prayer, and be in the silence where the Holy Spirit is. That is probably the hardest thing for modern man to endure, is silence. It's unnerving, but that's what it's supposed to be because now you're in the presence of God who is always in the silence. When you're looking at a sunset, when you go out in a farmer's field, when you go away working with your bees, and the silence, everything that's before you has been made by God. And as majesty, majesty, he has made everything in creation that's before us. And we're free to be artistically design it or we could destroy it too. But in that silence is where we encounter the Holy Spirit. And the hard thing when you first go to Eucharistic adoration as we have today and so many of you have practiced it is to get rid of the monkey mind in you and to shut it down and to go into this quiet. There was a movie several years ago, Shawshank Redemption, with Timothy Bottoms, I believe, and Morgan Freeman. And Timothy had been falsely accused and arrested. And he's in this horrific jail, and he's a free-spirited. It's an awful jail, the worst kind of imaginable, very bigoted prison guards beating up everybody. He gets a job as the librarian, Timothy Bodden's. One day he locks himself in the library and he realizes he has the speaker system for the whole penal colony, the whole prison. So he goes in there and puts on a Mozart piece, a piece by Mozart, and blasts it across the whole prison yard. And it takes him maybe 10 minutes to get into the library because he's locked himself into it. And the meanwhile, you hear Mozart just going across the whole prison camp and all the prisoners in their cells or at their labors breaking rock are just edified, and they're just looking up to heaven, and oh, and they finally get him, and they put him into the hole. They sentence him in the hole for 30 days, and they're going to break him. And they, after 30 days, he's sweating, and you see the hole, there's cockroaches, and he's in the dark, and they open up the door on the 30th day, and they let him out, and he walks out. How do you do? How are you doing? I'm pretty good today. And he just walks back to his cell, and he's got bounce in his step. And he's just thinking as he was before they put him in. I said, how did you stand it? They didn't break you. He said, well, I had Mozart with me the whole time. I listened to Mozart when I was there. He went into the silence of God, and there was Mozart. And that's what he did for 30 days. The silence, there's no difference between a monastic cell and a prison cell. The exact same size. We go into that silence of prayer, and that's where God will make us. As they persecute you in the world, be like doves. Doves. Man is the only creature who can be silent. No other creature can will sil silence. And the silence is with Christ. This church is a beautiful church. For Brother William Moker, when he designed it, said, uh, you'll have all your memories. It's a monastic design for contemplation. And you'll have all your memories and your successes and your funerals and your weddings and your baptisms will be written on the walls. And when you come in here like this morning, and just look at this place and contemplate and go into that silence and God is right in the walls with our memories calling us, Christ's hands behind us. And in that silence, Christ is present. 
And that's where we should be like doves with the Holy Spirit. Let us stand with our prayers for the prayers of intercession. We humbly seek God's mercy and ask for the needs of the church and the world. That every believer be fertile soil for the growth of God's word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That every land rejoice in plenty, foreshadowing the harvest to be shared in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer from physical and spiritual hunger be filled with healing goodness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That farmers and all who work with the earth receive a just wage and abundant harvest, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are gathered here in community seek ways to reach out to love those who are alone, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the let faithfully departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all who are traveling that they may have a safe journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all who are seeking the sacrament of marriage. The Lord, be with them in their pursuit of this vocation. We pray for increased vocation to priesthood and religious life. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all our intention, especially for the intention of Dan Stump, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, bringer of the harvest, you give us every good thing. Grant what we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of sacrificial gifts we offer in humility, and grant that those who suffer persecution for their faithful service to you may rejoice to be united to the sacrifice of Christ your Son, and may know that their names are written in heaven among the company of the elect. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he is exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels, the archangels, the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory without end as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, O mighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. Jesus is the word that brings salvation. He is the hand you extend to sinners. He is the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves were, had turned away 
from you on the account of our sins. You brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, and so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for whom, for whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by an outpouring of the Spirit, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, he reclined at supper, and he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took a chalice of blessing in his hands. Confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you, Lord, what we, you have bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us together with your beloved Son, and in this saving banquet, gracious you endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us for one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and language who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in the new heaven and the new earth where the full, full of your peace will shine forth in Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to turn to God for all our needs, and so in confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord.
Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, O Lord, confirm your servants in truth and grant your faithful who suffer tribulation that as they follow your Son in bearing their cross, they may in every trial glory in the name of a Christian. Through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Mass schedule for next week is the same as this week. Well, as, yeah, Tuesday and Friday at 7.30, Wednesday at 6 p.m., and Thursday is at 12.05. Father Jonathan will be celebrating the Masses as I will be on vacation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our closing hymn is Lead Me, Lord. We'll do verse 2 and 3. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs, and the pure in heart shall see their God. Blessed are those hunger, for only holiness can fill, for I say they shall be satisfied. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to see and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my light, my Lord, and lead my way, Lord, today. Blessed are those who through their lifetime sow their seeds of peace. All will call them children of the Lord. Blessed are you, though persecuted in your holy life, for in heaven great is your reward. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth, to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my light, my Lord. And lead me, Lord, today. And